Hi guys, so I hope you've had a good week of online learning so far. Um, today I'm just going a sh doing a short video to introduce you to a booklet that we're going to be using over the next few lessons on the Outsiders. So for the next uh, three or four lessons, this booklet is the work that we will be completing. Uh, I'm going to give you plenty of time to complete all the tasks, but that means that I do want you to do them in detail and really put your best effort into them. You know, um, where I've given you a few lines, which I'll show you in a second, I'm looking for you to fill the space that I've given you. Um, this is a part of exam skills as well, just getting used to, you know, writing in detail about different questions. But just a quick run through of what the booklet is, what type of questions are in it, and how to approach answering it. So the first page of the booklet is quite simple, just says the outsiders booklet, the characters and themes. And then there's a short overview uh, questions here. So really simple, when was the novel written? All right, so if you don't know it, you need to go and research that. And then explain the difference between a greaser and a soch. So if you're not sure, if you can't remember, this is you know one of the central concepts of the novel. So you really need to be very clear that you know the difference. So make sure you are going back through the novel and finding a place where they describe what a greaser is and describe what a soch is. You'll find it towards the start of the novel. The first main exercise then is just a simple fill in the blanks uh, in this summary. So the outsider is written by S.E. Wahoo um, when she was just blank years of age. It's a novel and so on. You know yourselves, just fill in the blanks. Okay, it's fairly straightforward. Just be aware that where I've left, um, you'll see here, a line and a half, two and a half lines. That's because I'm looking for a bit of detail there. Now don't worry if you're not 100% sure exactly what I got. Some of the times, you, you know, what what's going into those might not be totally obvious. I might be looking for a bit of insight into what you think. Okay. Um, so the first exercise is quite simple. It goes through the entire novel and I'm looking for you to tell me and show me that you understand the basics of what goes on. Okay. If you're struggling with this exercise, then we do need to go back and think about maybe rereading some of the novel, looking at the audiobook again. Okay, we should all definitely be able to read through or to fill in the banks in all of this if we have a good understanding of the novel. Uh, then that ends with that last uh, section here is just what is your favorite scene or moment for the novel and describe what happened. When I'm asking you to describe what happened, I'm looking for a few details here. Okay, so our first lesson today is just going to be these first few tasks, the first three pages of the booklet. Um, and basically, I'm looking for you to give me details here. So be, as you see, there's about six or seven lines there. I want all them filled. You know, my favorite moment is, say, um, the moment with the rumble. I enjoy this moment because of this reason, this reason, this reason. So you're giving me detail. You're not just saying, oh, my favorite moment is when... Johnny, when Johnny and Pony run away, and that's not enough. One sentence, not enough. I'm giving you six, seven lines. I want them filled up with a bit of detail, please. Uh, in the next lesson, so next Tuesday, I'm going to be running a live lesson next Tuesday. So we're going to be checking in with you just for about 10 to 15 minutes. So that'll be important. I just need to know how everyone's getting on, to see who's in, how everyone's engaging with the work. We might do a kind of short multiple choice quiz or a kahoot or something on the outsiders in that uh, 15 20 minutes as well you'll then be moving on to looking at character analysis of pony boy so do you like pony boy yes or no say for an answer that's why it's only short space then on three reasons why you like or dislike him all very straightforward three quotations we need to have a few quotations for these main characters guys okay so it is your job to go into the novel think about where you if you um so we're looking at where he's loyal think about the moments where he's loyal right who is he loyal to now you could definitely say he's loyal to the gang when do we see that loyalty shining through we can say he's loyal to johnny but when do we know that he's loyal okay i want specifics not just just general commentary i want a specific moment this is what he does to show that he is loyal uh what do you think might happen to pony boy in the future explain the reasons for your answer and this is something that's uh, a skill that we're looking for people to think about and looking at you using the information you have and coming up with a idea of your own so taking information and being creative okay but thinking about things logically all right so what is pony boys what's likely in his future what does he want to be right? what do we know about him what does he enjoy right 
what obstacles does he face? Might he, you know, have a bit of trouble in achieving what he wants to achieve? Is there anything towards the end of the novel that maybe tells us, you know, or uh, but start and the end of the novel, really, which maybe suggests something about him? Look at his brothers. What have they done? Look at his friends. What have they done? Right? Who do you think Johnny or Ty Ponyboy is going to be? Um, so there's quite a lot of space here for this, about 10, 11 lines. Make sure you're filling it. Would you be friends with Ponyboy in real life? What reasons do you have? Again, huge amount of space here. Okay, nearly a full A4 page here. All right, so it's not a yes or no answer by any means. I'm looking for yes, and here are two, three reasons for, in detail for why you think he would be a good friend. But no, and here are two to three reasons why you think he would not be a good friend. Okay, so filling up the space, please. After that, we do character analysis of Johnny. Very straightforward again. So, Johnny had a hard life again, three quotations. And then there's a, f there's a shorter space given for the different questions that are to do with Johnny. So, the first one, chapter 10 in the novel, we are told Johnny was the only thing that Dally loved. Uh, explain why, in your opinion, Dally cared about Johnny more than he cared about anyone else. So, this is again based on the novel, not just randomly you thinking, oh, this is what I should write. Please base this on what you know from the novel, and you all know this, guys. But I think we discussed this in lesson actually of why he cares about Johnny. But I want two specific reasons here. It is a more difficult question than once on Pony Boy. That's why it's maybe a little bit short space than what we looked at for Pony Boy. Uh, why do you think Essie Hinton made the decision to have Johnny die at the end of the novel? Again, you may only have one or two reasons, very short reasons, but you need to explain them in full. Okay, full sentences, full explanations, please. Johnny can never be forgiven for killing Bob. He's not a good person. <laughs> I know we had a bit of a discussion about this before, right? And we had a bit of disagreement. I want you to prove, to, you know, stand up for your point that you believe in. Okay, I think most of you did believe that he was a good person. You could forgive him for this, but I want an explanation. I want you to form an argument for that. Um, and then imagine you were asked to play Johnny in a film of the novel. How would you portray him as a character? How would he walk? How would he talk? How would he act? So think about mannerisms. Think about body language. What way would Johnny be? What do we know about him? What body language are we told about him? What would he do with his hair? What would he do with his hands? How would his eyes look? You know, how would his clothes be? Try to be imagining you're getting into kind of a director's role there. Okay, it was an important skill to have. Then the last two things are themes of so violence. Um, and this is a long question I'm going to be looking for here, so I'm not going to be doing this for another week or so, this particular one. So this novel has been banned from schools in the past for promoting violence and gang membership. Do you think this novel promotes violence? Explain your answer with reference to at least two points in the text. This is two extended PPP paragraphs, guys, basically, okay? All right. There's a full A4 page of lines here. I want you know, proper detail given in here. All right. And then loyalty. Three times you need loyalty, and there's a bit, bit of an extended question there, but again, filling up the space that you're given. Okay, so that's just a quick run through of what my expectations are for this booklet, okay? There should never be a one word answer to any of it, okay? We are extended answers. You are not, this is not all for one lesson, okay? Don't start getting scared, okay? It's nine pages long, we're going to be spending three or four lessons on this. So today, I'm going to post this video with each, with each of the lessons just so you can go skip through to the video to find the section so you can see the um, expectations for that lesson. But as I said, today what we're looking at is just these first three pages. So pages one, two, and three. Okay. If you want to move ahead, by all means, okay. if you want to think, okay, I want to get a bit more work done so I can have a bit of free time later on, you are perfectly free to do that. Today I'm going to ask you to take these first three, quest first three pages, sorry, you're going to screenshot them or take a picture of wherever you put them and you're going to send them or submit them to me on teams okay um like i said on tuesday we'll have a live a live lesson for 15 minutes and you're going to be working on the next uh first character analysis then as well okay any question guys just email me and i will get back to you as soon as i can best of luck and have a nice weekend